It's a new month. Hello and good morning. You're welcome to Joy News Interactive. We are live from digital address GA0992539 in Kokomemle, Accra, on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. Our social media handles for Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is Joy News on TV. My name is Selinam Ampum. Now, let's talk about the power supply in Ghana. For some of us, April Fool's Day is really upon us. We slept in darkness, hoping to wake up to light, but no light still. For the past two weeks, there have been days where our lights played pranks on us, and for others, they are still basking in the dark every night. Today, the Minister of Energy, John Peter Ame, will address Ghanaians on the issue of intermittent power outages in recent times. But before that, let's throw back to the weekend when Coco Mimli was in total darkness. A second night in a part of Coco Mimli in Accra. Pitch darkness. Only the sound of loud generators can be heard here. The Kokumlimli area is home to many important institutions, including the several banks and radio stations, including the multimedia group, which operates Joy FM, Asempa FM, Adom Radio and TV, Joy Prime and the Joy News Channel. Many of these organizations have had to run on generators at huge cost. But it is residents and small businesses who are hardest hit, as printing presses, restaurants, drinking bars, shops and many others have had to endure the darkness for days. Kwesi Ousu is a tailor, and for two days there's been no activity in his shop. The community has a Yawasadi school. Light no call off. The power has been off since Wednesday. Work has been hugely affected. One o'clock, and at 12.30, a call here up to Enra. His clients who are due to take delivery of their orders are disappointed. Many of our clients who had to get their clothes yesterday and today are disappointed. Government should fix the problem. Kwesi Wusu is not alone. His counterpart, a home appliance repairer, Joseph Bolara, kept wake in his shop with the hope of finishing up some work in time for his clients. I rely on electricity to fix these appliances. It's pathetic. It's been a difficult two days and nights for him. He wants his power restored and proper communication done so they can plan. In a barber shop close by, Akwesio Wusu is giving a client a haircut manually because they still do not have power. The whole of yesterday, man. No, the whole of yesterday. We have had to turn away all our clients. He's lucky this client has agreed to have a haircut without the machines. It's been a tough period, they tell me. They have lost revenue. They have had to reschedule finish dates for jobs their clients gave them. But ultimately, they want to have reliable and stable power supply. Interesting report right there. On Facebook, we asked, how many times have you been in the dark over the last two weeks? Let's read some of those comments. And we have Asamwa Kweku who says, mine is like disco lights, which caused fire in my house last Friday night. Wow. And the comments keep coming. We have Adukonu Domelevo who says, let's put politics aside. I'm not only facing darkness, I'm suffocating out of heat day and night, not a single day without, without light out. As I'm typing now, our lights are out in the name of maintenance. And Prince Jacob says, four times feeling sad. Who is punishing me like that? And uh, we have Justice Obiba who says, as for Ablekuma and Olebu, lightning system is the worst ever. And we need Senya Joseph says, well from birth. My teacher says, I'm dark in complexion. Interesting comment. And Solomon 
goes on to give some comments. And we have Nathaniel Ousu Setra who says, almost every day for the past two weeks, yesterday it went off at dawn, came back at around 5 p.m., went off at 9 p.m. And as we are talking, it's still not back. It's sad. Like joke, like joke, Doomso is back. And we have Fuseni Osma who says, uncountable in the Upper East region, we are suffering considering the weather we are in now. And Nakoko also says, every other day, someone isn't speaking the truth. Tell us what the situation is so we can plan to. You say it's nothing, shaking my head. And we have Christiana Engena Matipo who says, two straight nights, I couldn't sleep or hmm, still have my sleep areas to pay. And we have Elias Clavitin who says, how come you guys, oh, well, he keeps interesting comments. And Dominion says, I can't count. Hmm, as we speak now, it is off. And Augustine also comes in with, who says, my problem is not even the darkness, but my small Benetton fan, which looked like a slim girl with a big head, looking for electric charge to fend these agri mosquitoes. And Bozabari Doza says, in fact, it's too much. Why? Since last two weeks till last night, I have been in dark for about 10 times. And Mohammed said, for him, no power outage around Michelle come. Good for you. Good for you. And Enoch in Jiribi says, uncountable, but the most annoying of all happened from Friday at around 7 p.m. till Saturday, same time this weekend. And Muguri Isaac Hero says, in Garu all night except daytime. So in the nights, the lights are out during the day. The lights are back. And Rabinab says, Takrade, light off now. Every day, off, off, like 50 times. Ah, bah. Interesting comments coming in right there from our viewers. So you can keep your comments coming in and we'll do well to read. Away from that, let's talk about the day. You know that is the first of April and it is April Fool's Day. For pranksters and mischievous older siblings all around the world, April Fool's Day or All Fool's Day is as eagerly anticipated as Christmas. What other holiday encourages you to think about elaborate hoaxes, swap your spouse's keys, or trick your friends into thinking their car got towed, or even sending someone on a false errand? Today, we want to know what was the funniest prank or joke played on you on April Fool's Day. Let's read some of those comments. And we have Annie DeVito who says, someone is on her way crying to the mortuary because I April Fooled her. Please, if you know her, tell her to stop crying and go home. So people are already starting their April Fool's pranks. And Jeremiah says, receive fake appointment, a fake appointment letter from a network company believing it was authentic, authentic, but not knowing it was in the name of April Fool's Day. Joke. And Menka Chow says, he got an invitation for a friend's wedding. I guess it wasn't true. And Elliot Adam says, April the 1st, the only day of the year that people are remotely critical in evaluating the information they find online. Hashtag April Fools. And we have Robert who says, it's 1st of April. I have an exam, but I'm skeptical if it's a prank. If it's a prank. I feel it's a prank, sorry. She said, what should I do? Happy New Month. Hashtag April Fools Day. Dear, go and write your exam soon. And Roland says, my best friend just called me on phone and told me that the, her dad is coming to us. So I have, I have to get something done for him, not knowing it's April Fool. She did, she, no, no, it's April Fool she did to me, la. Well, let's take a quick break and we'll be back for more April Fools. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back from that short break. You're still watching Joy News Interactive with me, Selina Ampum. Now, in social media, 
the music world is having a very bad day where rapper los angeles rapper nipsey hustle has just passed on he was shot six times outside his LA store with two other people. Well, on social media, people aren't excited about the news. In fact, they are very downhearted and trodden. And I'll take some of those tweets just to know what people are feeling about his death. And we have, this is from Los Angeles Lakers, who says, activist, activist Angelino, LA mourns the loss of our own Nipsey hustle. And Wa says this Nipsey Hustle verse is really hitting home differently now every, after everything happened. And we have Kubi who says, Queers want to go, Nipsey's funeral, whereas his wife, two kids, and the loved ones will be mourning the death of their lost beloved. And we have Ethiopian taxi man who says, Nipsey died, his daughter is now alone. And you can cop fans, can't keep quiet just for once i swear to god and dr S this is man's not barry who says dr sebi declared he cured 13 of his patients suffering from aids won his case against the u.s government then died mysteriously nipsey chose to air a documentary on him and now he too is dead hashtag r.i.p nipsey hustle Our hearts goes out to his families and his friends. But away from that, Mondays, we show you that over here, we do some motivational quotes to start your day right. Here are some Monday motivational tweets. And we have Masentel, who says, Happy New Month, hashtag Monday motivation. It comes with an image that says, It's Monday. Don't forget to be awesome. And we have Linda who says, have patience, you will reach your goal. Russian will only wore you out. Hashtag Monday motivation. And Emma who says, take a look at your friends. That's, that's who you are going to be in a couple of years. You cannot hang out with chicken and expect to soar like an eagle. Hashtag Monday motivation. And Nehemiah says, hashtag Monday motivation, you could have fallen the last week, but not this week. Rise and fight. Rising when we are falling is one of, the, one of life's simple pleasures. It's easy to do and can always make you feel great. And Social Bliss says, make your Monday a role model for the rest of your week. Don't put off your goals. Make sure you are ahead of the game. And Mr. Blake comes in with a tweet that says, we didn't come from a rich family, but a rich family will come from us. And credits to motiv Motivate Dioge and my hashtag Monday Motivation. And Kapo T says, hashtag Monday motivation. Take Monday in little steps. By this evening, you'll be amazed at what you have achieved. And Marlo Higgins says, attract what you expect, reflect what you desire, become what you respect. Mirror what you admire hashtag monday motivation i hope you start your day right this for april fool's day no jokes don't be fooled and enjoy your day